All right, we're going to tie the minnow that we've uh, been showing you guys as of late. Um, there are a couple bit different variations, but I think we've got it dialed in pretty good. Um, first of all, as you see, we've got a, a laser trocar hook on it, on the vise. It's the uh, wacky worm hook in a size 2. I really like this hook because it's got a big, wide hook gap, and the, the point, obviously, is, is pretty awesome. We're going to start just right at the back where this starts to bend and uh, really this fly is a pretty simple tie. There's not much to it. I'm going to just take some marabou and I'm going to pull it off of the stem. Uh, so it's not the tips, it's just pulled off the stem. And I'm going to take that marabou and I'm going to just tie it in about right here. We're going to do the bluegill color, so I'll, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through that. Um, so anyway, not, not a ton of marabou. And then the idea behind this minnow is that it's got to be see-through. It's got to be transparent, so you can see some flash in, in the middle of it, kind of like a, a little a bait fish has or a little fry. So I'm going to tie in some cactus chenille in the small size. And just, you know, you guys will see this, this fly really doesn't look like much and actually until it gets wet and then it really takes shape. So I'm only going to tie in a little bit of the the cactus chenille and then I'm going to switch to my uh, olive color. You can see I've cleaned this marabou up. Um, I'm just going to take a chunk off of that. I'm going to lay that right on top. of my cactus chenille. And this this top clump I want it to be a little bit thicker than the bottom one. So I'm going to actually take another clump and tie that in. Little trick that I learned is uh, just lick your fingers and Bring the marabou back, that'll help it keep it out of your way. I'm going to tie in some Palmer chenille now. This is medium size and it's orange uh, to give it kind of that, that orangish bluegill gill plate color that they have. So again, I'm just going to tie that in close to the head and wrap forward with three or four wraps. You don't want it to be too crazy. Okay, still not looking like much. I'm going to take one more small clump of marabou and put it on top of that palmer chenille. into the good stuff. So I'm using, uh, for the head of this minnow, I'm using Senyo Laser Dub. Except I'm not using it as a traditional dubbing, I'm using it more of like, kind of like a wool head. So for the top, I'm just going to use the olive color. I'm going to take the dubbing, like this, and to prepare it to tie in, I just kind of pull it apart from, from itself a little bit, so they can line up the, the ends. Maybe just a little bit more. This will just even it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take that clump and I'm going to just tie it right on top of the hook shank and keep it nice and even on top of the, the hook. And I'm going to let that hang out of the front of the hook until I get the bottom tied on. The bottom I'm just going to do with white. Um, same exact step. I'm going to take this and 
and I'm going to just kind of pinch it on the bottom of the, the hook shank. You've got to be careful at this point not to trap the other color that you put on. So now I'm going to take the top, just fold it back, tie it in place, hold my thread up, I kind of split out the bottom a little bit, and tie the bottom in place. I'm going to whip finish. My thread broke on me, that's alright. We're just going to put some eyes and clear cure goo on it. Alright, again, we've got our trusty piece of Velcro. I'm just going to kind of brush it back. Uh, this this minnow really won't take shape until it gets wet, so don't worry about making it look too perfect. So, from here we're ready to put eyes on. We've got some of the clear cure eyes, uh, crate eyes, and you can put basically any color that you want on them. I, uh, I've got some red eyes, so we're just going to put those on right behind the eye of the hook. And just kind of squeeze them in place. And the key here is I'm not going to coat all the way around the eye back into the fibers. I'm just basically going to coat right in front of the eyes. So it kind of gets tricky here for a little bit. I'm going to take the, the Hydro um, and I'm just going to hold those eyes in place and just squirt just a little bit down in between the eyes. And Take my Pro Light and just cure it while my fingers are still squeezing to lock them in place. Alright, so those are locked in. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I don't need to hold them in place quite as much this time. Just a little bit will go a long way. Now I'm going to, to build up the gap in between the eyes with a little bit of uh, thin clear cure goo. Alright, so I'm filling in the gaps here with some thin clear cure goo. And I like to go on the eyes too. So this will kind of create a bond all the way around it. So now that I have it there, basically going to just take a bodkin and go around. Rotary vise really makes this easy. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, cure it up. And do one last coat of hydro. So it removes any of the tack and kind of gives it a perfect shape. Let it rotate a little bit to give it a good shape and then I'm going to tag it with the light. Okay, the last step is just uh, we're going to go in and fine tune it a little bit. We're going to put a little dot, you know, like bluegill have. And we're going to fancy it up by making some stripes on it. Just about like that. Okay, let me go get it wet and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, we've gotten it wet. You can see the bottom portion is, is pretty transparent. You can see right through it, and you see how, without me manipulating it, it takes a minnow form because that marabou uh, is kind of more, I don't know, it's more wispy, but the senyo kind of keeps it that fatter profile in the front. As you can see from the top view, it tapers down just nice into a minnow profile. Now if you're going to do the shad version of this, which is also a great pattern, uh, just uh, instead of the green, 
you would switch to a gray marabou or a, a dun colored marabou and then use the gray I think it's called silver minnow be belly or something for the the top color and then I like to put chartreuse or yellow eyes on my on my shad anyway uh, if you guys tie these let us know how they fish let us know how you do on them thanks